द इटर्नल कंपेनियन लाइफ एंड टीचिंग ऑफ स्वामी ब्रह्मानंद चाइल्डहुड एंड अर्ली डेज स्वामी ब्रह्मानंद वॉज बॉर्न ऑन जैनुअरी ट्वेंटी फर्थ एटीन सिक्सटी थ्री एट सिकरा अ विलेज नियर कैलकटा हिज पेरेंट्स वर आनंद मोहन घोष एंड कैलाश कामिनी कैलाश कामिनी हिज मदर वॉज डिवोटेड टू कृष्ण एंड शी स्पेंड मोस्ट ऑफ अर टाइम इन प्रेयर वर्शिप एंड मेडिटेशन महाराज वॉज हर ओनली सन Being a devotee of Krishna, she named him Rakhal, the shepherd boy. He passed away when Rakhal was five years old. Rakhal liked being with other children and played all kinds of games with them. He was especially fond of playing worship. He would mold a clay image of the Divine Mother and worship her with his playmates. During religious festivals he would take his seat behind the priest and sometimes while watching the worship he would be filled with the fervor of devotion and become absorbed in the thought of the divine mother Anand Mohan loved gardening As a child Rakhal would work with his father and learned gardening from him at an early age He was also fond of fishing and would sit patiently with his fishing rod for hours by the pond even in later life we saw that he had never lost these two early enthusiasms gardening and fishing from boyhood rakhal was a lover of music he learned songs about the divine mother and krishna he and his friends would go into a mango grove and sing these songs together in chorus in later years he encouraged his disciples to sing devotional songs and he would always keep in his company a few who were expert musicians wherever he was praises of god would be sung when rakhal had finished his studies at the village primary school he went to calcutta for higher studies he was then 12 years old attached to the school was an athletic club which interested rakhal very much the members of the club were young boys and narain later swami vivekanand was their leader this was how rakhal and narain met they were of the same age and became very fond of each other later both of them became pupils at a gymnasium at this period keshav chandra sen was exercising a great influence over the youth of bengal by his powerful oratory his fervent devotion and his vast knowledge of eastern and western religions he was the leader of the brahmo samaj he preached the fatherhood of god and the brotherhood of man in his talks he would quote the upanishads and the bible his new line of approach revived an interest in religion among the educated classes of bengal the creed of the brahmo samaj was the theistic conception of the godhead which is the creed of christianity and which is also to be found among many other conceptions in the hindu scriptures keshav denounced as polytheism the hindu cult of many gods and goddesses although these are in reality merely aspects of the one brahman he was opposed to the worship of images in the temples narain and rakhal joined the movement and subscribed to its creed Rakhal used to spend most of his time in prayer and contemplation neglecting his studies God is our father our very own how shall i reach him this was the only thought that occupied his mind Sri Ram Krishna later used to say of him from his very birth Rakhal was endowed with an intense love for God such a love is usually acquired only after a man has practiced 
spiritual disciplines for many years or many lives. Rakhal regularly attended the services of the Brahmo Samaj. His prayer that God might be revealed to him continued incessantly like the act of breathing. Rakhal was not doing very well at school, so that by the time he reached his 16th birthday, his father was worried about the boy's future. He attributed the neglect of his studies to the emotionalism of adolescence, which had turned his son's mind towards God. If Rakhal were married, the father thought to himself, his mind would be brought down to earth. He would have to consider taking up a career and providing for his wife and therefore he would study harder. So he arranged for Rakhal's marriage to a young girl named Vishweshwari. Keshav Chandra Sen was the first to preach publicly the greatness of Sri Ram Krishna. Devotees began to flock to the temple of Dakshineshwar to visit the master. Among them were the Manomohan Mitra and Shama Sundari the brother and mother of Vishweswari. They were already ardent devotees of Sri Ram Krishna, whom they regarded as an incarnation of Sri Chaitanya. Thus it came about that the worldly influence of marriage combined with the spiritual influence of Keshav brought Rakhal to the feet of his beloved future master. It was natural that Manomohan should introduce Rakhal his new brother-in-law to Sri Ram Krishna. Sometime before their visit, the master had spiritual visions concerning his future disciple. Once Sri Ram Krishna prayed to the Divine Mother, Mother, I want someone to be my constant companion. Bring me a boy who is pure-hearted and intensely devoted to you. A few days later, he saw in a mystic vision a boy standing under the banyan tree in the temple grounds. On another occasion, the same boy appeared to him in a different manner. To quote the master's own words, A few days before Rakhan came to me, mother placed a little boy on my lap and said, This is your son. At first, I was startled. My son, mother smiled at this and made me understand that I was not to have a son in an ordinary sense, but that this boy would be my spiritual son, one who would live up to the highest ideal of renunciation. From this hour onward, Sri Ram Krishna waited eagerly for the coming of his spiritual son. A few moments before Rakhal actually arrived, he had another vision. He saw a hundred petaled lotus blooming on the bosom of the Ganga, each of its petals shining with the exquisite loveliness. On the lotus, two divine boys were dancing with anklets on their feet. One of them was Sri Krishna himself, the other the same boy he had seen in his earlier visions. Their dance was indescribably beautiful. Every movement they made seemed to splash bliss from an ocean of sweetness as it were. Sri Ram Krishna was lost in ecstasy. Just then a boat arrived carrying Manomohan and Rakhal. Sri Ram Krishna looked at Rakhal in wonder. What is this? He thought to himself. Here is the boy. I saw standing under the banyan tree. This is the boy mother placed on my lap. And this is the boy I saw just now dancing on the lotus with Sri Krishna. This is the pure hearted companion I prayed for to the mother. Sri Ram Krishna looked at Rakhal silently for a few moments. Then he smilingly remarked to Manomohan, There are wonderful possibilities in this boy. After this, the master talked to Rakhal for some time as though he were an old friend. What is your name? he asked. Rakhal answered, Rakhal Chandra Bhush. Hearing the name Rakhal, 
श्री राम कृष्ण वॉज डीपली एक्साइटेड एंड मटर टू हिमसेल्फ राखाल द शेफर्ड बॉय ऑफ वृंदावन द प्लेमेट ऑफ श्री कृष्ण देन इन अ स्वीट अफेक्शनेट वॉइस ही सेट कम एंड सी मी अगेन इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ द मास्टर राखाल हैड एक्सपीरियंस अ पिक्यूलियर फीलिंग ऑफ जॉय लव एंड इंटेंस अट्रैक्शन एज ही लेफ्ट द टेम्पल ग्राउंड that voice in all its sweetness kept echoing within his heart come and see me again he knew that at last he had met a man who had seen and known god rakhal went back to his home and to school but he could not forget his visit to the master sri ram krishna filled all his thoughts and he was impatient to see him again A few days later after school hours he went alone to Dakshineshwar The master welcomed him eagerly and said with great affection Why can't you come back to me sooner I have been waiting for you Rakhal did not know what to answer He looked at the master and felt that the same ecstatic joy He felt like a little child sitting at the feet of God the father of all from that day the re- so in ram krishna father mother and god sri ram krishna saw in rakhal the divine child rakhal's visit to the master became more and more frequent Sometimes he lived at the temple for days together. While he was there, his mind entirely forgot the everyday world and became absorbed in the consciousness of God. And his presence, he felt himself to be the eternal companion of his divine master. Recalling these early days with Rakhal, Sri Ram Krishna used to tell his intimate disciple. no words can describe rakhal's spiritual mood during that period he was living in a state of ecstasy most of the time he was like a little child helpless in its mother's arms and surrendering itself completely to her always conscious of the divine relationship and when he was near me i was also transported into a higher spiritual consciousness I used to play with him just as Yashoda played with her divine child Krishna. Rakhal's father tried various methods to bring his son's mind back to the interest of worldly life. He gave him strict orders not to go to the temple at Dakshineshwar. When his advice and threats proved of no avail, he had Rakhal locked in the house. Rakhal longed to go to his master and Sri Ram Krishna prayed earnestly to the divine mother that all the obstacles in Rakhal's spiritual path might be removed One day Anand Mohan made Rakhal sit beside him in his study while he looked over some legal documents As soon as Rakhal noticed that his father was deeply absorbed in the work he seized the opportunity to slip out of the room and hurried off to his master anand mohan knew that rakhal must have gone to sri ram krishna but for some days he could do nothing because he had to attend to a lawsuit in the courts as soon as he had time however he went to dakshineshwar intending to bring his son home when rakhal saw his father coming he was frightened and wanted to hide but sri ram krishna would not let him so rakhal following his master's advice went to meet his father and greeted him with unusual affection and reverence it was then that anand mohan had a change of heart instead of insist- insisting on rakhal returning home he simply requested sri ram krishna to send the boy occasionally to see him om shanti 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 hi hari om tat sat 
श्री राम कृष्णार्पणमस्तु